Hello and welcome. In today's video, we will guide you through the process of removing and installing the integrated controller and battery in the Axe 3e bike. Before we begin, let's go over the tools you'll need. Allen key set. Ratchet with a 14mm socket. Crank puller. Cable ties. Cable cutter. Pair of gloves. Spanner set. First, position the e-bike securely on a bike stand to ensure stability during the process. Make sure the e-bike is powered off and remove the key if necessary to avoid accidental power on. Next, cut all the cable ties holding the controller to the motor cable and disconnect the motor connector. Then, remove the rear wheel to access the controller and battery components inside the down tube. Start by taking off both side axle rubber caps and loosen the axle nut using an 18mm spanner. Remove the chain from the rear freewheel and loosen the rear brake caliper mounting bolts for easier wheel removal. Carefully remove the wheel from the frame. Next, we'll remove the right side crank. Start by removing the crank bolt cap using pick tool. Remove the crank bolt using a 14mm socket and ratchet. Turn the crank bolt counterclockwise. Then, use the crank puller to remove the crank. With the crank removed, you'll have access to the controller mounting bolts. Use a 3mm Allen key to loosen and remove all four bolts. Before removing the controller, disconnect the PAS connector at the bottom and the 13-pin harness at the top of the down tube. Carefully slide the controller battery assembly out from the bottom of the down tube. At this point, you'll see the 13-pin harness at the battery end and the 9-pin motor and 3-pin PAS connectors at the controller end. To separate the battery and controller, Remove the four screws at the junction using a Phillips screwdriver, then disconnect the yellow connector. Now that the old controller is removed, install the new one by connecting the yellow connector and the 13-pin harness.
Align the holes and mount the screws to make a single assembly. Check the controller battery unit and slide it back into the down tube. Connecting the 13-pin harness at the top, matching the arrows on the connectors. Then, mount the four bolts to secure the controller inside the frame and reconnect the PAS connector. Now, reattach the right crank on bottom bracket AXLE. Align the crank arm at 180 degrees TO left and tighten the crank bolt. Don't forget to mount back the crank bolt cap. Finally, mount the rear wheel. Align it with the brake and chain. Then tighten both axle nuts using the 18mm spanner and replace the rubber caps. Connect the 9-pin motor connector, ensuring the arrows align, and secure the motor wire with cable ties. Cut any excess cable ties. Lastly, adjust the rear brakes using a 5mm Allen key. Finally, switch on the key and power on the e-bike and test all functions, including the display, throttle, brake levers, pedal assist sensor, PS, and lights, to ensure everything is working correctly. If all functions are working as expected, you have successfully installed the new controller and battery in your X3 e-bike. And that's it. You've now learned how to remove and install the controller and battery in an X3 e-bike. Thank you and ride safe.